right, so uh, I wanted to do a video on the bow. The, uh, there are two kinds of bows that we do in school. Uh, that is usually like the first thing maybe we teach to someone who walks them off the street. And the first bow is like this, which is just open hand over closed hand. It's a yin yang symbol in itself. And it's also, hey, I don't want to shake your hand, but maybe I'll just do this. <laughs> Pretend like I'm a ninja warrior or something. So that's just like the bow could be this way, this way, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's more like a symbol. Uh, then there's a more advanced bow. That's like the next thing you learn right after that, which uh, has more and more subtleties as you want to add them and. This bow that I'm about to do is basically the first thing that you do in, before you do any of your other forms. Uh, so before any form, you'll do the bow, and the bow is, uh, it looks like this. several things to add to that. When you're just standing normally and your feet are together or your heels are together, your knees are unlocked, your lumbar is uh, mentally pressed out slightly, but you don't touch your tailbone. That's a misnomer. Uh, your chest is up, your ears are pulling your neck back and up, so there's like a hook on the back of your neck and a hook on the top of your clavicle here to elongate this section of the waist up of your body and as your knees are bent your feet are pressing the ground mentally and that is also pushing it down into the earth so really just standing you can add a whole bunch of little details um, and also things with your breath just from the standing position so the first thing that you do with the bow is that your elbows are floating up as you're leaning forwards a little bit. And you do that as a way to condense the core muscles here. As your elbows come out, it's a release from a grab of the bear hug. It comes underneath. It's a subtle movement that uh, condenses your body. You. <laughs> <laughs> so keep in mind that's more of a prying move with these elbows coming up. Activates all these uh, tendon lines here so you can expand your body outwards as well as condensing it in this way, even on an exhale. Comes out this way. But I'm condensed here and I'm expanding out like this. So we're like, <laughs> this is an opening. Move here. Also, as your hands are coming out, you stretch the palms, activate the fingers, and grip the toes on the ground. It gives you just this one beginning move of the bow is a full body movement. And also, you have to feel your leaning. So you have to understand that you don't want to lean too far or thrust your general forwards into battle. It's really just a subtle forwards movement. And that's a condensing of the muscles here. So you these pull in and these pull down. So it's an internal body stretch after the expansion of the standing. Now it condenses. Now what I do is I curl my hands in this way into my pockets in the side as I collapse my elbows. And what that does is that creates kind of a spiral move this way that sets up for all your punches and moves, and also keeping the hand on the side this way. It's an insidious way to create angles from uh, your pocket punching position. So really, this type of spiraling, because in all the forms, the spiral is everywhere. So using this as a principle, you pay attention to 
where the spiral is even in the bow. So you lean forwards first, and you straighten up as your hands come out. So it, once you're finished straightening up, now you almost have this presenting move here, where the hands come out. The second they start coming out, you've got your root, and you can work off of anything from there. So right, even this presenting movement, you'd be mentally aware of your intent as your hands are coming up. Because from this position, this is your fighting position. It's not, you don't go like this or this ready to go with your fight. It's just, you're, you're here, the second your hands come up, your intent is projected forwards to whatever you're going to do to your assailant or whatever. It's also a mental meditation and motion movement of the form. So the hands come forwards and they grab out and they're making eagle claws like this. Space between your fingers and the thumb closes in. This all happens at once. You don't go this way and like that. Your hand collapses into the strong grab here. And you're not fully locked forwards on the elbow. There's still a bit of roundness here. It's a twist motion as it comes out this way. See, there's a spiral. Spiral here, and then spiral here because you're twisting your forearm. So the circle, a spiral is a circle. So they're circling everywhere. See, there's two circles there. One goes this way, the other goes that way. Then the next one is that way. Nice big circle. Now you're blocking the hand coming out, moving out of the way, and doing your back fist on top of that. That's just from the movement of the bow. Right? And everyone shortcuts the circle of the bow. You want to have a full movement of your body, of your arm. You don't want to do this or this. That's nothing. That's teaching you the wrong thing. That doesn't open up your body at all. You want it to be an exaggerated movement, but also with intent and meaning. And the reason you do that is because when you practice, you want things to be a little more sensitive and exaggerated. Uh, that was too short. So you want it to be an exaggerated movement, so then when you actually need to use it, you can shorten it up real easy, which is what this was. But you don't want to practice it that way. You want it to be extreme so that when it becomes an insidious function of movement uh, and a reaction, that it just happens, uh, it can shorten up on its own. But you practice it extreme, a wide, far movement. Oh yeah, the last circle, after you do this, it comes, comes to here, and then it collapses, comes up, and then out, Still not completely locked. Keep a bit of a roundness here. Down to the pockets and then complete a little spiral here because it's your whole shoulders and your arm and everything. And it condenses this in. Doing this little circle at the end will get you to root again. And you can put that in 